Hey, how you doing? This is Stu with Pioneer DJ. Today we are checking out our Terai series, starting off with the SP16 standalone sampler sequencer and then moving on to the brand new AS1 analog monophonic synth. Let's take a look here at the SP16 first off. This is a standalone unit, so you don't need to connect it to a computer to for it to function. You just simply plug it in and it will work. You have a 7-inch touchscreen right here that allows you to access any parameter inside the device itself, whether you're going into an individual sample to manipulate the sound, add effects to it, or if you're going into the mixer in order to adjust any of the sounds that are currently playing back. Moving over here, we have a fully analog Dave Smith filter. This is taken off of the Prophet 6. It has a high cut, a low cut resonance, and also overdrive. This is great if you want to either add harmonic distortion to an internal sound that is in your project, or you can actually run audio in through the back of here and then use just the filter as an effects in order to add harmonic distortion then pipe it back out to your computer to fatten up bass lines or fatten up drums. Moving down we have 16 velocity sensitive pads. You can either load a one shot into here or you can load a loop. If you're in a one shot you can play it back on a scale mode. It does have 21 different scales inside of the unit itself. Or if you have a loop, you can play it back in a slice mode, slicing up that loop into multiple different slice points in order to resequence that one loop. This is the only unit on the market that will actually time stretch up to 16 different loops in real time. So if you're using this in a live performance element and you're adjusting the pitch, it will actually time stretch all those and stay perfectly in sync. It does have Pro DJ Link on the end, so you can connect it to any Nexus setup and actually sync the MIDI and the tempo to whatever you're performing off of a pair of CDJs. For sequencing, you can either drum in whatever you'd like using the overdub feature, or if you come in and select a specific track, you can place it down here on the step sequencer, and you can go through all the different bars of your sequence and manipulate the bars however you'd like. Moving over here, we have a touch strip. Now this touch strip has your standard pitch, repeat. You can actually lock the repeat with hold, so you can come in and do different variables of that repeat feature. But what's really cool is you have two different user modes right here. So with these user modes, you can stack up to seven different parameters at one time. So with one single fader movement, you could be adjusting the pitch, you could be adjusting the note repeat, you could be adjusting a certain uh, wet dry of a specific effect. So with that one movement, you can do multiple things. Moving over, let's take a look at the AS1, which brand new, we just announced it a couple hours ago. This is a fully analog monophonic synth, pretty much a, a Prophet 6 in a much smaller form factor. So inside of here we have four oscillators. We have two off the Prophet 6 which are variable waves so it goes from a triangle to a saw to a pulse width and you can morph in between each one of those waves. You have a sub oscillator and then you also have a noise oscillator. Moving down you have two filters also taken off of a Prophet 6. You have a low cut with resonance and a high cut also with resonance. You have an LFO for modulation and then moving down you have a full keyboard right here. Now this keyboard has an arpeggiator on it and it also has a scale mode up to 21 scales are, are stored inside the unit so while you're going through it will only play back what you specifically allocate within that scale. You also have a 64 step sequencer. Now the sequencer does include the slew feature which is notorious for the TB303 so if you're making acid bass lines and applying slew on there it will emulate a TB303. A really cool feature is that you can lock the sequence. So if I make my bass line on here but I'm not happy with the sound, I can just lock in the actual sequence itself and then when that is locked I can scroll through different sounds to find the ideal sound for what I'm playing back. Also when sequencing is playing back you can actually hit the corresponding key and the sequence will play back at whatever key you allocate there. Moving over here to the touch strip on the side. This touch strip can control up to seven different parameters, similar to here. Seven different parameters all at once. So you can have oscillator one pitching up while oscillator two is pitching down, adding on effect more wet dry on effect one and more wet dry on effect two. Whatever sort of features you want to customize on here, that one touch strip movement can allocate to seven different parameters. For the effects, you have two effects units in here. Again, also taken off of a profit six and they include the Dave Smith famous um, 
bucket delay and then also the Dave Smith vintage phaser effect on there. It comes with 495 presets, each one designed by the Dave Smith team, and they're also mirrored in a user bank of 495, so you can save 495 custom sounds however you like while maintaining the 495 Dave Smith preset sounds in there. This will carry MIDI through USB and all through, through a standard MIDI cable. And the cool feature is when we're putting these together, we actually have a specific channel on here that you can allocate to the AS1. And then what that means is when I switch a scene, it actually sends the MIDI data and changes the preset and also the sequence inside of this unit. So I can have 16 live performances that all trigger to have 16 different sounds coming out of this right here. Also for live performance, if you need to, we have 13 pads that you can have shortcut presets. So I can say assign this preset. So when I quick load on pad one, it jumps to that or another preset can quick load to 10. So you can go in between 13 different presets on the fly really quickly with the load feature. So if we take a look at how these work together right now, this is set into a slave mode. So when this guy plays, it's gonna start this over here. Let's just go through, through some of these sounds so you can hear them. So that's just a quick taste of some of the sounds you can actually get out of the unit. Again, it's 100% analog circuitry, so everything you get out of there is very robust and very warm. Much different for anybody who's used to working in a DAW and using virtual digital synths. You're gonna hear a lot more harmonic resonance and a lot more warmth out of something along the lines fully analog. Uh, the SP16 is currently available. It is 14.99 US, and the AS1 is scheduled to be available at the end of March and it goes for 499 US.